Hello, I'm Lila with Crystal Weavers, and today I am putting together a list of some beliefs of our society that are actually false. There are so many beliefs that are just deeply embedded in what we do in our daily life. It almost becomes habit. It almost becomes like you assume it has to be part of life. See how these resonate with you. Belief number two. Belief number two is that we are in a mode of scarcity, that we have a limited number of resources. This is actually false. Now, I'm not advocating that we all go out and squander the resources that we have because that's how we got into this position to begin with. However, when we stop and we just simply look around and think about what resources we really need, what do we really need versus what do we want? What do we need in our life versus what others um, feel that they need to have in their life? Let's do away with that whole competition thing. When you focus on what you truly need in your life, how simple does it become? You know, do you need to have that extra? Do you need to, um, you know, go out and do this extra thing? Can you just be happy with the resources that you currently have in your life. When we can sit back and stop and look at everything that we have in our life and be grateful for them and acknowledge the fact that they are resources in our life and just appreciate them, then our need to have more and more and more and more and more just simply drifts away. And when we do feel an urgency to buy something or add something to um, what we already have, ponder why. Why is it that we need that? Why is it that I feel the need to have that? And when we do that, then we're able to allow the resources that are here on earth to be enough and to fulfill everyone's true needs and to fill everyone's true desires. So when we look at the resources of water, fresh air, the minerals that the earth provides, the lumber trees, fruits and vegetables, when we look at the resources that Mother Earth provides to us and we respect every drop and we respect everything then we have enough and there is no scarcity. How does that resonate with you? How does that fit into your lifestyle? How does it sit with everything that you read and everything that you hear and all the fear that our society fills us with the scarcity of our resources? Comment below, I'm very curious to see what is your truth in how our resources are available to us when we need, to us when we desire, to us to stay healthy and alive? Blessings of peace-filled coalescence.